I feel like we should also talk about student leave. You know, when students actually see their period and they have exams, I think I almost missed an exam once. Because it's a crowd. Yeah, there should be exceptions for those things. Yeah, yeah? but we have where the lecturer say if you don't oh, do this, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I don't know. Are you the yeah, first yeah, person yeah. to see your period? I'll say that you are repeating the course. No, what I like it. through periods differently some experience pain some not so much i have my experiences but today we're here to talk about you know taking some time off to get back to yourself some of us have to get back to our normal selves before we can go back to the world again so today we'll be talking about period leave what starts atl whether you're in your period or not why is that you know, we need to consider women's health, if you agree with me. Mm -hmm. And this is something we want everyone to understand. Period leave is a thing. Welcome to my period chronicles, guys, where we are compiling women experiences, sharing stories all over the world as we destigmatize period taboos. And I'm your co-host, Bidemi Adeduri. I have my co-host here at the far end of this seat, Tutu. Mm -hmm. Okay, so hi guys, welcome to my period chronicles. Like she said, we have our beautiful guests with us today. These girls are just shiny. I know. I know. I want to talk about people's like skincare and all of that, but that's not why we're here. Um, this is Deborah, um, our Abuja lead of caring for girls with period initiative. And Tatiana. Yes. Tatiana is a writer, right? Yes, she is. Words by Tatiana. She oh. is. Uh, a mass communication graduate, am I right? Yeah. And she is also a menstrual activist. Like, you're going to tell us about that. You're looking Definitely. at, I know, a world where women are happy, you know, in their bodies. Yes. Right? That's awesome. Tell us more about that. Okay, so um, menstrual activism is about me advocating for women that do not have happy menstruation. Menstruation is not easy for everyone. Every woman has her story regarding her period. So menstrual activism is just there to make sure every woman is happy. And I really look forward to a world where women are happy and women can work comfortably, mm. irrespective of how your menstruation handles them or how your menstruation makes them feel. I know. It takes over. You can't handle it. It handles you. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Debbie. Yeah. You, I know you have a lot to say. <laughs> but first, let's start with your memorable period experience. Okay. I'm going to say that would be the first time I had cramps. Okay. So from the beginning when I started to see my period, I didn't used to have cramps. Like it would just come. Ooh. I know I had mood swings. I didn't understand it until okay. like a couple of years after. Mm -hmm. I'd have mood swings. I just knew that I used to be very touchy and upset. And then I would just see my period. But I think the first time for me was um in school, in uni. I was writing an exam. It was my first exam that day. I'd, and I didn't know what was going on with me. I just noticed that it was like my waist was melting. Ooh. I don't know if you know that thing. Your waist feels like it's a biscuit bones. Yeah. <laughs> and then <laughs> it's, you know, the, 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 you feel contractions and mm -hmm. it was so hard to work. I didn't even realize, you know, when I was going to the exam for some guy just tapped me and asked if I was okay. And I said, yes, I was fine. He said I was working for me. I did not even know. Oh my God. I went to write my exams. I couldn't even write. I just rushed and finished. I finished in less than an hour because I couldn't be there. Like I was very uncomfortable. Then I threw up. Like I had the whole works that month. It was crazy. And I don't know what influenced it. Mm. Afterward, I didn't feel that way for a very long time. So wow. That must have been like 
memorable yes, one. Yes, yes, there's no way I'm forgetting that. I feel like we should also talk about student leave. You know, when students actually see their period and they have exams, I think I almost missed an exam once because of that. Yeah, there should be exceptions for those things. Yeah, yeah? well, we have where the lecturer will say, if you don't oh, do this, it, yeah. 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 I don't know. I don't yeah. 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 to see your period. I'll say that. Yeah, you are repeating the course. <laughs> no, and I, I, very true. and I think that's the thing. Our system here, our society is not one that is open to be lenient about. Mm -hmm. There's a wide range of subjects, and mm -hmm. I think that we should be. We sh it's time to start getting more conscious about it. And I'm very happy about the menstrual activism she's talking about. Yes. Because when you say it, like people look at you like. Is I'm sure our moms would be like, "Look at you, your that? grandmother did it. <laughs> her mother <laughs> before I did it, why and all of that. Yeah, I did it. And why are you looking for an excuse? Mm -hmm. But we." I think it's time to stop underrating these things because it's a big deal. Like she said, you, you literally lose yourself. It's not you. Like when you're in your period, only women can understand yes. when the person says, I'm on my period. And then you can excuse everything she's doing because she doesn't even have a clue what is going on with her, you know? I understand. Yeah. Tatiana, yes. tell me, have you met people with terrible, you know, what, what inspired you to become an artist? I'm, I think I'm the first of my kind <laughs> because my cramps are always insane. I was never lucky. I am never lucky. Every month, it's a new story. Welcome to my world. It's a new story. So wow. starting from the very first day I saw my period, which was like how many years ago, like seven years ago, started with cramps. And this was when I was in secondary school. So imagine being in a mixed secondary school, boarding school for that matter, not a day school. Mm -hmm. So it was just me. Okay, so what drugs do I take? What can I do? I was just in class crying, nothing to do. I went to the clinic, they gave me drugs and all that. It didn't work. I threw my guts out. Mm, wow. So since then, I was always going home for cramps, um, exercise, like every month. She's always going home. So I have like three days off to treat myself. Come back. Do you have to take injections? Yes, I do. And drip as well. So I get admitted. Wow. wow, this I've, is quite the story. Yeah, I've heard about it. I've heard people say, Oh, there has to be this girl. I've heard guys even talk about, Oh, there's yeah. this lady. Whenever she was her period, everybody used to know that. I've never come I've, exactly. I've never met them now. Yes, wow, it's me. Wow, okay. we, we want to talk period. Now, you go through this every month, so I can imagine you working and you need some time off. How do you feel about it? Oh, that's one thing. See, just pay to have um, understanding work environment mm -hmm. if you have a place where they understand you it will be fine for instance where i'm seven could i think when i'm on my period i inform the administrative officer and my supervisor that okay i'm having plans and i can't come to the office and they're like oh, okay take care of yourself oh so nice because i don't get that anywhere. oh my god yes some because no. a lot of people do not experience it so yes. when you say cramps you're like you know, just, cramps, like we have women so, here so, and they come to Yeah, some people tell you I'm on my period too and I'm here. So um, what's the excuse you have? Excuse, that's just so crazy. here is the thing to do. If period leave actually becomes a team, mm. like it becomes something, mm. and we have lots of women that don't go to this period. Mm. And they are just going to be enjoying period leave like that. Yes. <laughs> people love that. We'll be doing it for the sisters. <laughs> <laughs> See, so it, I think every woman has um Oh, that calling now. We deal with our demons, okay? So for those that do not experience the pain, I'm sure that I think our cycle and our hormones deal with us differently. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that for those people that don't get the cramps and the pain, there's some kind of um imbalance they get. You have people with PCOS, yes. you have, <laughs> you have you people with men. <laughs> so like let's just take time to chill and find yourself, rediscover yourself they were and, ready to and go yes, there. conquer the world. So Apart from that, you know, some of us have very crazy flows. I have terrible pain. Yeah. Flows. Like I literally have a budget for my monthly periods because I know that I need every month. Yes. Oh. I need probably three times what you might use. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So I need that time because I'm going to be telling you, excuse me, that if we're having a meeting more than once because I need to go check okay. myself every now and then. And you so, know the feeling when you are having a conversation, you sneeze. Oh, oh mm 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 and, and then unconsciously you sometimes you're not even doing any of this you're just walking and you just feel the whole like the fountain just comes down this was me you feel like <laughs> the, uh, the gym <laughs> so we're at the gym and we're working out and then the day that my period came it was aerobics 
And he's like, yeah, 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 yeah. You can't be that careless for some of us. You, you, it's not even a thought. Even if you have a routine and you're getting paid for it, you, the moment it's... your prayer comes, you're like, guys, just go. I'm not going to do it. Do I'm you... Sorry, guys. Do you... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no, we so what we're talking I about? Agree, huh? Honestly, we, we because I don't. want to feel how you feel, where you don't actually feel what you, you don't feel what I feel or what she feels when uh-huh. you go about your. But well, we're talking too. about physical pain. We're not talking about the time when. You know how you're on your period and you're necessarily emotional. So okay. I was seeing a video like two days ago. <laughs> well, like that video and tears have nothing to do with each other. Well, you're just <laughs> like, <laughs> I, 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 mean, I think three weeks ago, I didn't even know what was going on me. So normally I'm not a movie person. Okay. But that day I was working and then I decided to go on YouTube. I don't even know how I was watching some movie. Believe me, I cried. Like you know where you're crying, I was sobbing, I was clearing my eyes. I just cried. And I was just saying very silly things. My period came the next time. Like, oh, oh, okay. That day happened. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, okay. <laughs> thank God. It's a beautiful thing yeah. because um, menstruation period is the most natural thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like children, giving birth to children. And it's crazy how we are similar, how we can actually relate to all the yeah. things we are saying, and yet we are so different. Like, I'm pretty sure what she experiences is different from mine and yeah. she literally has to go to the hospital every now and then which yeah. I don't do that now, thankfully maybe we, we do grow out of it do we grow out of pain? No. does it happen? Mm-hmm. because I've met a woman who said she grows older but the pain gets worse Wow. for me I grew out of pain when I started it was painless then there was a time when it started to really hurt and the only way it would stop is if I threw up so when I threw up it would stop but those times could be very terrible. If you give medication, I'll try to give up. But then after a while, I think I started really early though. I started my period at 10. Okay. But by the time I was like 15, 16, it was nasty. By the time I was 20, it was even painless. Like I wouldn't even realize it because I feel something like coming out and I'm not over I'm on my period. So I think for some people, you can actually grow out of it. But then there are lots of factors that influence these things your diet your genes the environment. so you can't really say that oh it's as you mature that it will stop you get i do i understand mm. well let's not forget that we also share chronicles yes so we do we do have a story to share with you guys today and yeah we'll be talking okay so this is a b or a b for a b a b okay sorry what are you she said we were to have a music concert in teenage church and I was to solo a song. I have <laughs> my chest is beating already. The pain was so strange and terrible that I remember placing my Bible on my stomach, oh. asking God to forgive me, and I kept my soul back to heaven because this world was too so simple. <laughs> oh my god. I cried my eyes out that day, but I still managed to sing my song with the pain eventually. Women, they need to give it to us, we're super women, because we be pain, nobody time. would know what is going on. Okay, just... you will know, child. You will know, child. You will know, I'm not alright. So I don't go out. But what about times where it's important, like it's so pertinent that you have to do something, and Debbie, you have to do it well. You can tell. I always move it. I always move it. No matter how important that thing is, I, I, there was a time I needed to be in a meeting to close a deal when I was working. No way. I had to speak with the person I was like, sir, we're going to have to be scheduled this meeting. Otherwise, the deal would have gone, sir. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know, I've got okay. a situation whereby you can't be scheduled. Okay. I don't know. I've been, there. I've been there. My project defense. I had cramps that morning. How did you do it? My goodness. I had to call the head of my department and cry that please, sir. It's just like, because I can't even move it. It's like, that's yeah. just come. Go to the clinic, let them sort out. They just come like that. I will just sort out. Say, Good morning, my lecturers. <laughs> 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 like that, they will let you go. I will just be crying. I was moving. <laughs> like the night before, see my dress, iron, my heels. And, and she, and I she was, uh, uh, 
No, 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 she's like, 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 she's why in uni, I had my most embarrassing moment. School had gone on engine boys strike. Okay. So a lot of persons were home. I had a cousin who, during that period, had discovered a safe haven for night class and I decided to follow her that day. The year, year period wasn't supposed to come out that day, but I'm a boy life will not let it be. <laughs> so we got to our newly found safe haven and started gisting and preparing for the night ahead around 12 or so that's how this thing just came out here yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, I, like that. It. <laughs> I was on the verge of losing my mind luckily a friend had an extra pad with her so i borrowed mm -hmm. after a while i felt pressed this is me who hasn't eaten at night feeling pressed to do number two Ooh. my village people didn't want me to read that day i went to the toilet and that's how the night took a dark plunge downwards. By the time I was done, I couldn't even walk back to my seat. Oh. I was holding onto doors and walls to make oh. my way out of the toilet. Or more, I laid down outside the toilet entrance, Ooh. close to the staircase. I tried crawling, no way. Ah. <laughs> I was just calling wow. the name of Jesus because that prayer of living earth cannot be answered at this point. <laughs> she wasn't ready. <laughs> Oh so God. I laid on that cold and very bare floor for about about three feet away from the toilet for more than an hour, breathing in pain. Oh God! Until God sent me one fine medical student. Ah. This girl is not focused. She's not focused. She's not focused. You will not let her be for like five minutes. This is what she's saying. Happy you have personalities. You were almost about to end. Then you see, you saw my man, and you then you know that it was fine. <laughs> So God sent me one fine medical student who was walking around to pursue sleep from his eyes. Looking back now, I thought I had met my husband that night. Oh, hello. <laughs> Please, can she send us back to and, yeah. <laughs> and you know how your parents can get you confused, like your hormones, you start feeling like, because that's what he did to her. Yeah, mm. Like, I'm going to put you here, then, mm. oh, I'm sending you a priest. Mm. 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 Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, I'm nobody. <laughs> he was the one who went to get me a phone first and wrap her to lay there because Ooh. I was so weak. Got paracetamol and went to look for my cousin before he retired to his books. Wow. Yeah, our night in shining armor. Thank you. Please, I want to know if they still talk. I want to know how that went. Every please tell us. <laughs> yes, what please. happened after that day? Do you still speak to this uh, medical student? Is he Five. a doctor? Five now? medical students. Okay. Five. 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 They have been hilarious. Been, <laughs> no, downright hilarious. If you've been watching our episodes, you know that yes, they are serious, but some parts just we just need to laugh mm -hmm. because we've been we've been in that show where we are taking different positions. We don't see it. positions. Mm -hmm. We're looking for network. <laughs> You know where you are looking for? Yes! That's how you be just to you, Your body becomes so flexible in ways that you didn't realize you, you can bend, bend oh and turn. The previous position never works the second time. Mm -mm. Ah. Mm -mm. She's she's a normal writer. All she, women are yogis as far as I'm concerned. Because we don't we don't we don't, we don't, we don't need need yoga. Yoga. <laughs> How about let's do something? Because times like this, or mm -hmm. times like you know, Abu's um, story where she her period came mm -hmm. and she didn't have a card. Mm -hmm. As sisters that we are, can we always have one or two in our bag? Like in I case we a lot of people may yeah, I do that too. I, I do always that. do. Mm -hmm. I think every of my hand bag has, has um, either pad. two pads or you like, don't need to me. I always do that. But whenever I forget that is when the, it's yeah. I was like, going to ask that question. I thought it happened to only me. No. Then there's this thing, please let me ask honestly, girls. Okay. Does it happen when you're expecting your period to come in 30 particular days and you were prepared mm -hmm. and you didn't come? Mm -hmm. Then did, did you just took a walk or went just somewhere and you forgot? Then that's when Auntie now decides that I want to today, they must know us. So <laughs> they have to see us. <laughs> Expect the unexpected. <laughs> honestly, take it by surprise for you every time. So periodly, let's let's go back to period. Mm -hmm. Will Nigeria ever, ever make periodic a thing that it's it's more? Yeah. Or will companies 
you know, add that to their workout. I, I see don't. this thing uh, with our country. I love you, Nigeria South Sea. <laughs> but <laughs> sorry. <laughs> In Nigeria, it might be impossible it's because our the people before us, our mothers and them, them and our aunties, our biggest uh, biggest problem. Because these are people who will say, "Ah, uh -uh, why are you giving them leave? Is it not just your period? I mean, something we did it. Why can't you do it?" Even now, with my mother, sometimes I have an issue because I don't have like the most painful periods. Yeah, mm -hmm. I can actually decide to work on my period so that. You know how uncomfortable you just are, and I'm very irritable. Everything is irritating me. So just leave me alone. I'm like, I beg, I'm on my period. She said, hey, are you the first person to be on your period? She, when she's on her period, does she shout? Does anybody know? There's this thing. Nobody should know when you're on your period. Yeah. But we'll get, we won't get to that. Oh, like, that's another, that's another <laughs> that's episode of time. Like time. So when you have people like that that are supposed to advocate for us and say, oh, it's really not easy, it's the ghetto. You people should allow this to A lot of them are already menopausal and all of that. Allow these people to enjoy their life now that they are still seeing this demon every night. But no, <laughs> they'll say. So I feel like we have a lot of opposition from like the older, older generation. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how possible it would be because if they wouldn't stand for us and say, this is how we feel. Yeah. The older generation already sees us as lazy. Mm. So when you now come and say, well, I won't leave, like this laziness extended. <laughs> so I don't know. So how... apart from men mm. not even understanding this, we have women that feel. Yeah. Shouldn't Aside from that, women will abuse it. The people that tend to be lucky will still come and be like, hey, if she's having period leave, me that I'm okay. Can't I have period leave? I'm actually that? okay with that. I know that's how I that should not rest. Leave. I mean, I can have five days to put my feet that's up. That's when the, um, people, <laughs> the men will now come into disagree. Yeah. Okay. So that will be an issue. No, it I'm might okay be an issue. With period leave being a thing. Whether you feel the pain or not, get the period. Have some time off for yourself. If yeah. you don't feel the pain, go do something if you wanted to do some self care or whatever. Yeah, because I don't think we we do we, we do that thing a lot. We don't take retreats and mm -hmm. pay attention to ourselves. So, so I do use that as my yeah. yeah, but pain. where she's coming from about people abusing it, I could not be feeling like coming to work today. I was quite, I'm on my period. Yes, yeah, so many times in a month. You but you get it once. It's going to be once a month. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Some people that sit there on twice a month. What should happen? I'm a, your period leave will be once I'm a sorry, month. I'm sorry, dear. Borrow from the next <laughs> month. <laughs> But I think I think that um, the period leave can become a thing in Nigeria, and why I say so is we are fast becoming the older generation right now. Hey. A lot of businesses. <laughs> a lot so of old. To do right now, go. <laughs> so she two is twenty one. Please, like, yes, at twenty one. She's seventeen. <laughs> what are you want to be here? You don't want seventeen year old here. You people need. To from all ends of the spectrum, from my side and your side. Okay, so when your generation oh, yeah. becomes older, yes. Okay. So I, I think right now there are a lot of businesses, especially businesses owned by young women. Mm. Women are enterprising and owning fast growing um, businesses, mm -hmm. growing into organizations that are structured. And that's one thing I like about it. When women handle things, it's more structured. Mm -hmm. So I feel like mm -hmm. at this you time, to go <laughs> at this time, having people, say for example, there's there's Bidemi, me, there's um, Tatiana, there's me, there's Tutu, and we're having our own businesses. Yeah. We can incorporate this into our work culture. Yeah, that's a way to start. And Definitely. there's someone else hears about it. Oh, that's a thing. And stuff that you know what goes around really fast. Yes. Yeah. And so I think that's how to start things. Because if you're waiting for that big announcement, mm -hmm. I don't think it's ever going to come. But then at our level, we can be that kind. We, we can be attentive to those all. things. Mm -hmm. yes, yes. Startups can start implementing it. Yes. It makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. However, there are some countries that actually do this. It's one African country. I, I think I wrote it down. So in Indonesia, under the Labor Act number 13 in 2003, women have a right to two days of menstrual leave per month. That's so nice. Yes. And then in Taiwan, the act of gender equality in employment gives women three days of menstrual leave per year. Mm. Okay. Three days per year. Mm. 
Oh, I see 20, I see 20 to 24 periods every oh, year. Yeah. So, so I so, think so, what you do is you just tell your period to pay. Let's just agree. What right? are in July? Quarterly. <laughs> Quarterly oh, thing. Right? And then every month, every woman mm. in Zambia mm. is legally entitled to a day of work referred to as Mother's Day. The law does not spell out the reason for the provision, but everyone knows what it's for. Okay. So that's cool. And then in Japan, since 1947, which is really amazing, yeah. Article 68 of the Labor Standard Law states that when a woman who works during a menstrual group, especially if she has difficult, if she's going through difficult period, mm-hmm. she can request for uh, the employer should not employ such woman on a period basis. Mm-hmm. Should not employ maybe yeah. such a woman that's as like a wage. I think yes, like, yeah, yeah, it's a wage based job maybe because they are more industrious people. They have more uh, and more difficult jobs like linear jobs and yeah. the rest of that. It says the employer shall not employ such woman on days of the menstrual period. Yeah, so I so think it's still a leave. Sort of, yeah, not kind that of you won't be employed. Yeah, yeah but I don't think I think it's yeah, yeah, I think their structure, like most of them do day to day um that hiring and Japan. Japan. Okay. So probably if you are supposed to walk in today, like you're supposed to walk today mm-hmm. on maybe I don't know, your shift or something and you can move it, you can move it and complete your work. But is it with pay? Now, that's that's this leaves that come that's one thing I don't know. Let's discuss it. Should it be paid? Even if it's on paid. I don't mind. I, I think it should, it should be paid. But it should be paid. Because we give it all of our energy. Money. Yes, yes. I mean, I'm buying cards or tampons. I'm buying comfort food, please. It's necessary. Yes. yes. Oh. I'm buying all of this. You, you right make me more productive for your company, for the greater good. So Just imagine if every woman gets a spa date once a month. So, how about even if were, we're not going to have the leaves yet, we get a bonus, like the period bonus oh, or the. Yeah. That. Period competition. No, yeah, but I don't mind. Like a bonus, like, like an extra. I don't mind that. So you tell when so. your brain is telling you a million and one things. Your stomach is doing his own magic. You think money is important to you at that point in time? Uh, uh, yes, dear. Yeah. Oh, 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 you, you need money. Yeah. Right. <laughs> 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 okay, but let's join Nigeria. Please, let's join Zambia. I mean, Zambia. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. might have to carry placard for this movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, we have a menstrual activist here, so she'll just be meeting us. Oh, yeah, yes, and then we're having it. Yeah, our country will be under some problem. Yes, our No, but then we're having it at the back of our minds here that in all our endeavors, whatever we're doing, this takes priority. Yes, so when you have a woman on your team, she's entitled to it. There's no negotiating. No, the moment you say this is what's happening, because I know how it feels like, I'm just gonna let you know. I also think that women need to put at the back of their minds that no matter when it comes to periods, the next the woman next to you is your sister. Even if you don't like her guts, you don't like her personally. But it's period, the person is your because when if we implement these things, they are going to need someone to cover their shift or do the work that yes. they are not going to do. Yes. Yes. So I should be able to say, Oh, I mean, I understand. Let me be able to cover for you mm-hmm. at this time. If we could form that sisterhood. Without him, that would be so much possible. But if we call that this, <laughs> that is the first I think at that point we should call it call it truth. Yeah. 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 Anyway, guys, in conclusion, period leave should be a thing. I am definitely. I am activated for period leave in this series anyway. So I second yeah. that. Thank you. Same here. Thank you. You are doing like this. You are activated. You are not trying to do For the leave. For the women. Honestly. Can yeah. you guess what we'll be talking about in our next episode? Please watch out for our next episode on my period yeah. chronicles. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.